All right, YouTube, today's video, we're gonna get into how to get lean for the summer. So let's get right into it. Here we go, here we go. It's been a while, guys. I know it's been a while with the slash shows, but we are back. This is if you're trying to get lean for the summer, stay lean for the summer and you know get right so here we go let's get right into it it's gonna be a no bullshit guide if you follow this you're gonna get lean sooner than later for sure all right so the first thing you want to do is change your mindset you want to stop chasing instant gratification you want to commit to a lifestyle change because when you commit to a lifestyle change first of all you'll look at things more long term anyways you won't be looking at things so short term but also it'll take a lot of pressure off of you you won't feel like you have to do everything at once you won't feel like you have to do a 24-hour fast or like a two week water fast, or I've seen people do four week water fast. All that stuff is not sustainable long term, which means you shouldn't do it in the first place because you're not going to get the results that you want. You're not going to maintain the results that you want. And if you lose the fat and then you gain it back, you lost. You want to lose it and then keep it off. All right. And also, you want to make sure that you have realistic expectations. I've had a lot of people ask me recently, like, hey, man, I just want to lose 40 pounds in four weeks, man. I don't have crazy goals. And I'm like, that's super unrealistic. It didn't take you four weeks to gain all the weight. So you shouldn't expect to lose that weight in four weeks. You know what I mean? So if it took you four years to gain a certain amount of weight, then give yourself more than one month to lose that weight. Give yourself at least six months to lose, you know, 40 pounds at least. All right. All right. So of course, clean up your nutrition. A lot of people expect to lose fat, but they eat a lot of fast food. They eat a lot of fried food. I've even had some people say, hey, man, I haven't ate fried food for a couple of days. I haven't ate any fast food for a couple of days. When am I going to see results? And it's like it takes time. It takes consistency. You got to clean up your nutrition permanently, not just for a few days, guys. Like expecting to lose fat when eating candy, fast food, chips, you know, just a bunch of junk 24 seven is literally like expecting to have a girlfriend. But you haven't talked to a girl online or in person in years. It's just unrealistic. It's delusional. So stop wanting results for something when you haven't even put the work in for that something. Right. So like if you want to see your abs, if you want to lose any fat, you're not in a deficit, but your nutrition is also horrible. So you shouldn't expect to lose fat. All right. So first thing you want to do, right. First objective step, because once you get the mindset down, you get the perspective down. Then now it's time to get into the actual objective step. So you want to find your deficit and track your actual calories. Right. So. This is a Dave Ramsey quote. I love it, but it relates to tracking calories as well. So it says, if you want to win with money, you've got to change your actions with money. The way you do that is by making a budget and sticking to it. And the way you do that is by tracking expenses. Same thing with fitness, guys. You got to find your calories, right? Number one, and then you got to actually stick to it. Find your calories and actually stick to it. Don't just find your calories and be like, you know what? That's a good number. I'll try to get around there. No, you got to actually stick to it if you want to see the results. If you want to lose the fat, you have to consistently be in that deficit. All right. So um, a good way to find it is going to be, as you can see here, my fitness pal, or you can use a calorie calculator on Google. Um, but you want to find that, then you want to stick with it. Next is going to be your activity level. So the goal when you are cutting is to maintain or increase your activity level. So if you start your cut and you're already running six miles a week, 10 miles a week, two miles a week, and you're already walking 10K steps, then you just want to maintain that throughout the entirety of the cut. Now, if you're super sedentary, like I was, I was only getting what, like 2000 steps per day, you know, nothing crazy. I was barely getting any steps per day. So I increased it to 5,000 and I noticed dramatic results, you know, just because it's doubling my steps. Um, but if you're already getting 10 to 20 K, then just maintain that range. Right. Um, if you're, if you think you have to get 20 K plus, you don't have to, like I said, it's all about improvement, progress, not perfection. So if you have like 30 pounds to lose and you're only getting one to two K steps per day, if you bump it up to five K steps per day, clean up your nutrition as well. And you strength train, you're going to notice that you're losing a lot of fat and you're getting closer and closer to your goals day by day. So, Progress, not perfection, guys. You don't have to do 80,000 steps or anything crazy per day. All right, next, lifting weights. So, of course, the priority is going to be like weightlifting. So hit the gym, you know, five to six times a week, four to, four to six times a week. Um, be real consistent with it. And just because, of course, it's going to help you, you know, have more testosterone and all that other stuff. But just strength training in general is going to help you burn more fat overall, which is all of our goals. Because if you want to look right for the summer, that means you don't just want to lose weight, but you want to actually make sure that you're also 
losing fat and toning up because that tone look is what you're looking for. That tone look is what's going to get you to your goals and make you, you know, feel better about yourself, fit better in clothes, things like that. Because, you know, we all know if we just lose a bunch of weight and it's fat and muscle, you're just going to look like a bag of milk. Right. I think that's what they say. Bag of milk. All right. And as you can see, stop eating ass, guys. Stop it. Too many people expect results for not eating fried foods for one day or one week, like I said earlier. Like, hey, man, I didn't eat fried food for one day. When is my when are my results coming in? That doesn't make any sense. That means that for the past few years, you've been eating fried foods, which is where the accumulation of fat is coming from. Because fat doesn't come on overnight, just like it doesn't leave overnight. All right. So all that fat that you've gained, it took years and years to gain it. So in order to lose it, you need to be in the mindset that, OK, Took me 10 years to gain this fat. Let me actually spend some time to lose fat. All right. So another thing is your actions got to align with your goals. If your goal is to lose fat, then why are you eating cookies? Why are there McDonald's in your you know refrigerator? You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. You need to make sure that your goals, right? Your actions align with them. So very simple video, guys. In conclusion, if you want to get lean for the summer, number one, Eat in a calorie deficit, that's going to be number one. And sticking to that is going to be very important as well because some people eat in the calorie deficit for one day, for two days, for one week, for two weeks, and they want results. Now, you're going to get results for what you do 90% of the time consistently. All right, so that means over like a year period, if you're eating lean 90% of the time, then you'll notice that you're actually losing fat because 90% of the time you're eating lean. A lot of us go from eating lean 90%, not eating lean 90% of the time, and then we eat lean for like two weeks and we want results. You need to give it more time, guys. It's too much impatience. A lot of you guys are very impatient. Another one, stop eating shitty foods. Of course, shitty foods are going to make you gain more fat. But another thing that they actually do is they decrease your satiety. So when you're eating them, you're just craving more and you're not feeling full at all. So it's very, very frustrating for you. And you never, you never really feel like you're eating anything because you can eat chips, you can eat candy all day. It's not going to fill you up and it's going to make you high energy and then low energy. It's going to make you crash. And then you're going to feel sluggish and shitty. Another thing is focusing on the weightlifting, not just doing, you know, two hours of cardio in the gym, focus on actually building muscle and strength training. And then of course, increasing your activity level or at least keeping it the same. If your activity level is already 10K steps per day, then, you know, you can keep it there. Um, make sure not to let it decrease. But if your activity level is 2K, 2K steps per day, increase it to five or if it's 5K steps per day, increase it to eight to 10. All right. And last but definitely not least, be consistent because this is not going to work without consistency. If you're doing everything right, but you don't do it for long enough, then you won't get the results that you desire. If you want to drop, you know, 10% body fat and you're doing what you need to do to drop 10% body fat, but you don't do it for long enough, you won't drop the 10% body fat because it takes time for, you know, the results to build up. Like if you're trying to lose a more significant amount of weight, it's going to take time for you to lose that. So be patient. All right. So that's the guide, how to get lean for summer. If you incorporate these things, you'll definitely, definitely notice that you're getting leaner. Now, obviously where you start is going to determine where you end, right? So for example, if you're like 30% body fat and you're trying to get to 10, it's going to take a longer time than if you're 12% trying to get to 10. So of course, know where you are on the map and then go from there. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoy this video.